All right, today, Miss Cape and I are each going to tell you a story, and you're gonna pay attention to which story you like better, okay? So I'm gonna tell my story first. So yesterday, I went to the park, and I got on the swings, and then I went home. I'm gonna tell you my story. Yesterday, Miss Sipes and I went to the park. We sprinted to the swings. We went as high as a kite on the swings. We raced around the park. Then we were exhausted, so we had to leave. Oh, Miss Cape, and I like your story a lot better. Why? I felt like you gave a lot more detail and used really precise words. Wait, what's a precise word? Like a descriptive word. Like you used those words raced and oh. high as a kite. So you could almost like see it when mm. I used those really precise words words. Yes. Oh. Let's see if our authors are doing the same thing in Frog and Toad. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to read you. This one is from Alone, which again, this book is going to be read aloud, so you'll have heard the whole story, but um, Toad is sitting on a rock by himself. Frog is sitting on a rock by himself. Toad hurried back to the river. Frog, he shouted, it's me. It's your best friend, Toad. Frog was too far away to hear. Toad took off his jacket and waved it like a flag. Frog was too far away to see. Toad shouted and waved, but it was no use. There were a couple of really precise words that I heard you say. Mm -hmm. First of all, you said Toad hurried. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just Toad ran, Toad hurried. Yeah. And then you said he waved it like a flagpole. You could have just said he waved, but then when you said he waved it like a flagpole, I pictured... <laughs> Oops. Like a flag. What was it again? Waved like it a, like a flag. <laughs> waved it like a flag. So I, then I was picturing the flag right. waving almost on a pole. That's right. where I got that from. Yeah, you know? that makes sense. Yeah. So we get confused as readers all the yeah, time. So we I just do. have to go back and reread. Yeah, so you know, example. it was just the picture in my mind. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, there was another one, too. He shouted and waved. So kind of both of those Whoa. descriptive words were being used. Yes. Now, today, you guys, if you see those precise words in your books, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take, take a, a picture, picture and circle uh -huh. some of those descriptive words or descriptive sentences that you're noticing. Yes, we cannot wait to see your picture today on Seesaw with your precise words because we use author's precise words to understand the story better. Bye! Bye.